So today I'm reviewing the Blender Creative Suite software. And this program has so many features, but is this all-in-one package actually good for people who are just starting off with content creation? So let's talk about that. Now I do want to say that I've used Blender before, but I never really used it for its video editing capabilities. In fact, I never really knew that Blender was capable of editing videos until one of you guys brought it up to me, so thank you. So I guess it's just time for me to go back to Blender and really dive deep into all the features, especially in video editing. But first, I want to start off with explaining what Blender actually is for those of you who have never used this program before. So Blender is a free open source 3D creation suite that has so many features that allows you guys to model animate and even simulate some projects during composition. Now along with these features, Blender also supports video editing, hence why I call it an all-in-one package. Now the Blender platform does support Linux, Windows, and even Mac operating systems. Now like I said before, it is a completely free open source software that you guys can get yourselves today if you guys decide to try out Blender. Now with that out of the way, we can talk more about what Blender has to offer. Now if you've seen any of my other reviews before, you guys know that I like to break it down into pros and cons. But I don't think that would be pretty helpful with Blender. I think Blender it's in its different category and I just want to talk out straightforward of what Blender is and the best way that you guys can use Blender if you're actually interested in using this as your main creative suite. Now like I said before, Blender has so many options and it's used for so many things. We've gone over things through modeling, animation, simulation, and at the end video editing. However, if you guys go on to Blender and you actually search what it's for, its main purpose is for animation and 3D models. Modeling. It's a 3D creation suite. This basically makes video editing as some sort of a bonus feature off to the side and that sometimes can be a problem. Now I'm not saying that Blender is just bad at all the features it offers. It's actually really good. I've used it before for 2D animation when making intros and or outros. But I know that there are other people with more advanced skills that are using this software in order to make more higher quality projects and it's pretty cool the things that you can make using Blender. However, I'm just more concerned about the video editing aspects of this software. Software. Blender offers so many features at the same time that it's really important to stay up to date with every feature that they release, making sure that they're offering the best quality each feature can achieve when you're using Blender. Now, Blender is not a dedicated video editing program. So what's the difference between using Blender, which is a all-in-one package, instead of using a dedicated video editor? Now, there are some differences. Having a dedicated video editor ensures that you have every single feature needed in order to make sure you guys are able to build out your project with the best features available. Blender on the other hand has a really nice outline but it's not a traditional video editing outline like we're expected to see when you open up programs such as Shotcut, Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro, or any other video editing softwares out there. Blender has a different user experience when it comes to video editing and you guys can actually see this when you're using the Blender video editing program itself. It's not as traditional as most video editors but the overall layout is still there. You can tell which one is the timeline, the pause and play button, and where all your files go. And you can feel this difference when you're using the whole software, when you're using the animation or modeling section, comparing to the different rendering process that takes for each animation and video editing as a whole. Now you may already hear me say that I call Blender the all-in-one package, and that's because it offers so many features in one software program. And at first you may think that's great because it has everything I need in one simple package. Adding too much things in one software program may cause some problems in optimization and feature set in the future. Now Blender has done a really good job keeping everything optimized when it comes to the Blender software experience as a whole and it's a really good job on them. Now the best thing that I can use in order to compare Blender with is the Adobe ecosystem. There are not a lot of programs out there that I can use in order to compare the video editing capabilities with the modeling animation capabilities that Blender offers. But the Adobe ecosystem gives me a full list of apps that I can use to compare Blender with. And these two comes down to the Premiere Pro video editing program and the After Effects program. Two great programs that are really good at what they're designed for. One, video editing Premiere Pro. The other one, animation, scaling, you name it, After Effects. Now these two content creation suites are really well known in terms of video editing and the graphic design portion that comes with After Effects, each specializing in their own creative suite. Now does it mean that I can make graphic designs on Premiere Pro? No, but it's not specialized on that. And you can say the same thing for After Effects. Can I edit a full 
full video on After Effects? Well, I don't think so because it's going to be pretty difficult to do so. However, these two applications have found a way to streamline each other's platforms so efficiently that you guys can bring in projects from one app to another. I've used Premiere Pro before and the After Effects application as well, and you guys can basically bring in all your graphic files right out of After Effects into Premiere Pro, which is a really seamless transition and it's a really good process to do so. Now my question is, would it work the same if Premiere Pro and After Effects were in the same software program? Now it's pretty hard to imagine this since we're used to having these two different apps, but having these two programs in one full application at first may present so many features and it can be off-putting at first. So that's why this solution of having two applications may work really well because they both have time to be optimized properly in order to do their specific function. And we can see a clear correlation between Blender and the Adobe products on how they chose to format their programs. One took the liberty of creating two applications with specialized function, however Blender just packed it all in one. Now I'm not saying that was a bad idea, I actually really like this concept of putting all the features inside one program, however sometimes, especially to the newcomer, these features may be a little bit off setting since there's too much to look at all at the same time. The best thing I can relate this was to my previous review of the video editing program known as DaVinci Resolve. That video editing software had so many features and so many dedicated windows for each feature, either if that's trimming, editing, or even color grading, and even exporting. That program had so many features that I had to basically separate each station into different parts. And I can see this correlation between DaVinci and Blender as they all have very unique features. Now getting into my personal experience with Blender was an interesting one because I found myself having to adjust into the learning curve of the actual workflow when it comes to making a video on Blender. There was many tutorials involved and much playing around with the software experience overall, but I did really enjoy having a new refresh look on a video editing program. Now I do want to say that I think Blender's video editing feature mainly represents the editing that you will have to do once you're done finishing your animation that you might have started using Blender instead of editing a whole new video, which is still possible by the way since I have done some editing clips using Blender. It was just a very unique experience. Now the last thing I want to do is discourage anyone from trying Blender. So if you guys already use Blender and you found something that actually works for you, that's good on you. Keep doing it. Keep exploring new features by using Blender or any other video editing programs of your guys' choice. This was just a unique experience and opportunity of me to use and review the video editing portion of what Blender has to offer. So if you guys have already a system that works, that's good for you. But those of you who want to have a unique video editing experience and you're looking for your next video editing program, well, this is a basically overview of what you can expect out of the Blender Creation Suite software. Now that was basically a breakdown of my experience of what I have seen when using Blender. I enjoyed the unique experience that I was able to see with Blender when it comes to video editing. Now there is a learning curve, but if you guys already use Blender and you enjoy the process, well, I don't want to change that for you. Keep doing your thing. If you guys are trying to find new video editing programs, give this one a try. If it's too overwhelming at first, I understand. So that's why I have a list of so many other video editing reviews that I have made in the past. Now I do recommend to check out those videos if you are interested in looking for a new video editing program in order to start editing your own videos. If you guys have any other suggestions for any other new video editing programs that you guys want me to review, you can let me know down in the comments as well as any other questions you guys have for me. But consider subscribing if you like this kind of content because I do make a lot of content around video editing and content creation as a whole. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.